What is up guys, Kuzbash here, and I'm going to be giving you the top tweaks of the week. Alright, so the first tweak slash application I'm going to give you is AnyRing. And basically what that does is you can use songs out of your music library to create ringtones or SMS sounds. Alright, so for right now I have um, Dirty Vibe as my ringtone. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that. So, unset ringtone. Click on ringtone, iPad songs. So let's do um, color greens. You click on this little bar right here, and you can set the start point. Now the ringtone has to be 30 seconds. So let's start at one minute, and we'll end at. Uh, one minute, let's say one minute, 30 seconds. Apply. Scroll down to export ringtone. Click done. Then you go to your settings. Click sounds. Ringtone. Call green. Not I remember fiend. Fiend. Give me, give me, give me some. Freak the freckles off your face. Freaky freaking swap. And that's set my ringtone. All right, guys, on the second tweak, I'm going to be giving you guys a slow mo mod. And basically, what that does is it gives you a slow motion camera feature for non supported devices. So I have an iPhone 5C, and when I launch a camera, as you can see, it brings up my camera. Yeah, I'm showing it. Let me just uh, show my hand and whatnot. So now you can see that I have the slow mo feature and it records into 60 frames. So I can click record and do my little recording. And then I can click on the video. And then I can edit the slow motion options. You can launch the settings for this if you go into the settings panel. Scroll down to slow mo mod. And you can change the frame rate, but you cannot go higher than 60 frames if you are on a device lower than the 5S. You can auto hide the slow mo indicator configuration or enable FPS gestures. Change the rate of how slow you want it to be. Uh, put a fake frame rate and everything else, and always set this highest quality. And that is that. All right, now the third tool I'm going to show you guys is One Tap Clear. And basically, what that does is if you have a notification in your notification center, then you can just click on the X one time and it's going to clear it instead of you actually having to confirm it. All right, and the last week is called pull to respring. And what you do is you want to go to settings. You want to enable it on when you download it. And then you go to the top and you pull down. And then it's going to restart your springboard. And it's just a quicker way to restart your springboard instead of rebooting it over and over again. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Stay tuned to my next videos and I'll see you guys later. Comment, subscribe. Inbox to all that, you know how we do it, and I will see you later, people.